for a Monday morning, Michelle. Yeah, it definitely feels like a Monday. Oh, here we are in the uh, second week of February, and it's rain yeah. that we're tracking. Again, okay. okay. You don't have to shovel rain in the morning when you start your commute, right? So the roadways are damp. North Kingstown, you can see over the bay. Visibility is just fine, but it's often on showers that we've been tracking here over the last few hours. Rain showers up to Boston, down 95 in Connecticut. It's just rain, but you're going to run into some issues with wintry weather as you travel up towards Worcester, Springfield, and then further north and west. Back two to four inches of snow possible in parts of uh, northwestern Massachusetts, and even a little bit of wintry weather still left over in the northwest corner of Connecticut. For us, it's a rainy start to the week. We're going to see showers today and tomorrow. Then we get a little break on Wednesday, but it's short lived ahead of more rainfall on Thursday. All this uh, unsettled weather has come with a warm up. Our temperatures are 20 degrees warmer right now than they were yesterday morning at 5 a.m. Part of that reason is the wind. It's out of the southwest. It's bringing in some warmer air, 5 to 10 mile an hour winds right now, but they'll pick up a bit. It'll be breezy. I don't expect damaging winds today, but it'll be noticeable. Upper 30s to lower 40s inland right now. Taunton and 40 safely above that freezing mark in Smithfield, Newport and Westerly out the door in the middle 40s. So your commute into to work, rain and drizzle. You want those wipers and lights on. Sun comes up at 648 this morning and it's setting at almost a quarter past five now. So we'll see some lingering showers into the evening commute temperatures at that time still running in the low to mid 40s. So we're out ahead of this low pressure center. The center of the system going to lift to the north of us, but it'll drag this cold front into southern New England. That front will eventually push offshore and stall out there, and that's why we'll keep the showers in place for tomorrow too as a fresh wave rides along that front. So nine o'clock in the morning, we We've got temperatures in the low 40s in Smithfield, mid 40s in Providence and upper 40s at the coastline. And there's not much change in the temperatures by lunchtime, mid 40s on average, and we'll see scattered often on rainfall into the evening commute. We do get a little break overnight tonight. Temperatures won't change much, dropping from the low to mid 40s to around the upper 30s by tomorrow morning. So about 38 degrees in Providence, 36 Smithfield and in the lower to mid 40s in Newport and in Westerly. There's that next batch of rainfall Tuesday. You can see often on rain. Actually, I'm thinking the steadiest rainfall will be along the coastline and focus mostly towards the first half or three quarters of the day on Thursday. Break Wednesday, sunshine, dry conditions during the day. This is 8 o'clock in the evening on Wednesday. Clouds have already rolled in, and then we're watching this next batch of unsettled weather to approach. So an area of low pressure going to be passing close to us. There may be a small window of time just for a couple of hours in the middle of the night on a Wednesday night into early Thursday morning where we could get a little bit of mixing with maybe some snow or some sleet well inland. It's short lived. We change over to rainfall. This is before the sun even comes up on Thursday, just rain low with a chance for some freezing rain central New England and some snowfall in northern New England. This is at noon on Thursday, so those showers will be tapering off Thursday afternoon. Then we've got colder weather that follows. You can see Friday and Saturday, very chilly days for us, but like we've seen so far this winter, any blasts of cold air don't last long. We're back into the 40s by Sunday. At that latest 40s.